Hi, and welcome to another episode of the Fat Blokes Shorts. History will note that this week was famous for the release of two pieces of software. First of all, uh, Ubuntu came up with their new version of Ubuntu 10.10. And secondly, there's a new release of VirtualBox available. Uh, VirtualBox 3.2.10. And to celebrate the uh, coincidence of these two new releases, we're going to show you a Fatblog short, which is going to take you all the way from having an empty PC through to installing VirtualBox, creating a virtual machine for Ubuntu 10.10, and installing Ubuntu 10.10 into it. So we start by downloading VirtualBox and uh, the same process applies whether you're on a Windows host, uh, a Mac host, a Linux host or a Solaris host. You download the version of VirtualBox that's appropriate for you. And once you've done that, you go ahead and install it. And on the Mac, it's a very simple install process. You are asked, um, do you agree to the license? We agree. Where do you want to install it? We'll use the default location. We're asked for administrative passwords because we're going to install some software into some special locations. And then VirtualBox goes off and copies the files into the appropriate part of the disk. This whole install process is not being speeded up. This is playing in real time. And in less than a minute, we've finished the installation and we're good to go. So, VirtualBox is ready to go. Let's start it up for the first time. And this is what it looks like. Now, when you first install VirtualBox, you won't have any virtual machines available to you. And so this left-hand side of this window will be blank. But what we're going to do is we're going to create a new virtual machine. And as we said, we're going to install Ubuntu 10.10 into this virtual machine. Now, VirtualBox uh, supports lots of different operating systems from uh, variants of Windows, lots of different variants, lots of variants of other operating systems as well, but in this instance we're going to use Ubuntu. So VirtualBox recommends that we use 512 megabytes for Ubuntu and who are we to quibble with it? Secondly, um, we're asked, do we ex have an existing hard drive with Ubuntu 10.10 on? And we don't, so we're going to create a brand new one and then we're asked, what kind of disk do you want to create? We're going to create one that grows on demand to a maximum of 8 gigabytes here. And we're now done. So VirtualBox now has a virtual machine, and we're just about ready to install uh, Ubuntu into it. Now, when we start up this virtual machine, VirtualBox says, hey, just a minute, you haven't... Um, install the operating system into this virtual machine, it's empty yet. So the first one wizard is going to lead us through how to do this. So we could download the uh, Ubuntu um, ISO images and burn them onto a CD, or we can use the ISO images themselves. And so I've actually got here, somewhere on my disk, a copy of Ubuntu 10.10 in an ISO image. So let's make this a bit wider, like this one. So let's choose that ISO image. And that's the one we're going to boot off and install Ubuntu into. So having done that, VirtualBox starts up. It boots off the CD. And the little icon down at the bottom here should show that we're going to be accessing the CD any minute. Um, this dialog box is about um, how we handle the mouse and it uh, we'll solve that a little bit later by installing the guest editions. We'll just click on, don't show me that for any, any more for now. And now Ubuntu 10.10 is booting up and we're getting ready to install into our blank hard drive the whole Ubuntu 10.10 desktop edition operating system. Again, I'm not accelerating this movie, this is in real time. And I'm doing this on my Mac, but it would be just the same if you were on a Windows PC, or a Linux workstation, or a Solaris workstation. So the way Ubuntu goes about installing itself is you boot off the live CD, 
and then it starts up and gives you an, uh, a chance to either run completely off the heart of the CD or install Ubuntu and that's what we're going to do here. So Ubuntu says are you sure you've got enough disk space and we think we have and in fact we'll go ahead and download updates while installing because that makes things a little bit quicker in the long run. We answer a few simple questions. We're going to erase and install into our virtual hard drive, which is the one that is going to grow on demand. And we're going to install right now. Now, in order to uh, make this movie a little bit more interesting than sitting and watching paint dry, I'm going to accelerate the next few questions. So Ubuntu asks us where do we live? And it also asks us what type of keyboard we've got. And then finally asks us to create an account using uh, a username, so I'm going to use Fatblog. And, um, and as you can see, while it copies the files, it gives you a few uh, overview slides about what's new in this release. Now I've really speeded up the installation of Ubuntu here. And so what happens is Ubuntu continues to copy for the files, it configures itself, and then at the end of the uh, installation procedure, it then re reboots. So here it is rebooting, VirtualBox starting up, and now let's shift back to regular time again. A voila. However, we're not quite finished yet because although we've created a virtual machine with Ubuntu in there, we can actually make it work extremely well with VirtualBox if we add the guest editions. So I'm now going to install the VirtualBox guest editions by dropping down the menu and saying install guest editions. And what this is actually doing is it's mounting a virtual um, CD or DVD image which Ubuntu is going to identify and it's going to say... go let's open this up we're gonna run the auto run um, file which is in this directory so it's asking us to give us a password which we've done and now the guest editions are going to be installed for inside of the virtual machine now the guest editions will um, basically work with the guest operating system to allow things like the uh, the mouse and the display driver that VirtualBox presents to uh, the virtual machine to work more naturally for people who are running multiple operating systems on the same PC at the same time. So these take a little bit of time to uh, install. For instance, um, What's going on right now is that we're actually building the guest editions for the particular kernel, the Linux kernel, that uh, Ubuntu 10.10 is using. We need to make sure that we're, we match the kernel that's being used here. And another little thing to note is in the background here, um, the update manager has started for Ubuntu, so that's actually going over to the network to go and get some uh, some other files which we could update right now, but we're not going to just yet. And so we're finished. We've installed them. We're going to follow the instructions which says you might need to restart uh, the guest operating system. So we'll do that. We'll restart Ubuntu. And this time when we come up, we'll have the guest editions installed in this virtual machine. An easy way of knowing whether or not the guest editions are installed uh, is that we can look at this little icon down here, which indicates the host, whether the host mouse pointer is um, um, grabbed by the guest or not. If you have that symbol, single green arrow, it means that the guest editions um, are supporting. 
manifestations are supporting mouse integration. And so one of the cool things that you can now do, if I just tidy up my screen a little bit, is I can grab hold of the corner of this Ubuntu machine and resize it. Or I can type a special command sequence or take it full screen like this. So in this instance I've taken my uh, Mac and turned it into a full screen Ubuntu. Now there is this pop-up menu at the bottom which allows you to get back to um, windowed mode. But that's one of the benefits of running the guest editions. And note also that the mouse can now freely move in and out of the window without being grabbed. Another thing that the guest editions allows you to do is to run seamless Windows mode. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to um, uh, enter seamless mode. Seamless mode is where you basically uh, allow the applications in Ubuntu to coexist along the application alongside of the applications in the Mac. So here we have Mozilla Firefox running on Ubuntu and over here we have Safari running on the Mac. Okay so let's recap on what we've done today. First of all we went to the virtualbox.org website and we downloaded Oracle VM VirtualBox and installed it. That was a piece of cake. The second thing we did was we created a virtual machine from within VirtualBox and then we installed Ubuntu inside of that virtual machine. And then finally, after we'd rebooted, we'd installed the VirtualBox guest editions inside of Ubuntu. And what this does is it makes the user experience far more rich and the performance far greater too. Join us again soon on Fatbloke TV.